Hey guys, Ali here, welcome to the channel. You'll notice I have my camera uh, around my neck. So actually, I didn't bring spare batteries and it died. So, so this review is going to be on my phone. I've actually found a new takeaway on Cheatham Hill Road, right at the bottom towards town called uh, Kawaja. I've had a quick look at their menu. It looks like they've got some cool items on there. So I'm gonna go inside now, just sort of refresh my mind on the menu, what they've got, get a few bits and bobs for you guys and start that review. Okay, so I've ordered my food, it's coming, I've got a few items there, but just before uh, I get into the food, there's actually this little strip here, I'll put the address details of everything in the description, of course, but this little strip has got some great places, so a few doors down that way, we've got uh, Lahori Bad Shah, they do a steamed chicken, which I reviewed, that was amazing, legit, so I'm going to stand back away from the road, <laughs> um, they do a steamed chicken, it's legit like a Pakistani style steamed chicken, like a jarga, and one of the only places in Manchester that do it properly, so that is awesome. And then on the other side, you've got uh, Lahori Kebabish, which do an amazing mixed grill, super cheap, like for the value, it's like six or seven quid, it's awesome, that's really nice. And then next to that, you've got Chapati Corner, who are like a rice and three place, where you get like a portion of rice, and you get to pick three curries to go on top, and they've got some other really, really cool stuff. I've reviewed a few of these places, I'll put them in the description, so after you watch this watch those because there's some great sort of places right next to each other okay so i've got a load of food what i'd usually do is go back to my apartment i've got lots of stuff going on there so i'm actually gonna do a very very quick review outside so let's actually start with because i've got actually a few items let's start with okay let's go easy let's start with an actual perry chicken okay so let's actually start start nice and easy let's start with actually the perry chicken strips these oh these are actually massive Guys, look at the size of these. These actually look a really, really good size. I'll add all the prices and whatnot uh, in the description. I might even flash them on the screen. But for the price, that's actually pretty darn good. I think this cost me like, I think it was like four or five pounds. Because everything I got today cost 19 pounds. So it's pretty good. Chips are, as you would expect, fairly standard, quite crispy. They got some red salt, but it's all about the chicken. Let's try that. Oh, that is some of the softest peri chicken I've had for a long, long time. That is spiced really well. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. I think what I would do is add a little bit more chili sauce. I do think it needs a bit more, but it is, it is spiced well. The chicken itself is very, very tender and a really decent portion size as well. I would happily chop those into a pitta, have the chips with them on the side. Wicked, that's actually very, very good. Okay, so now moving on to this little rice platter. Now this actually reminds me of, you know when you go to a wedding and you've got rice, you've got roast, you've got like a, a piece of roast chicken. This literally looks like that, that's what it reminds me of. We've got some shami kebabs there as well. Guys, if you haven't had shami kebabs before, these are chickpeas mixed with some lamb and some chicken. I'm gonna go for the rice first, because like I said, this is just giving me wedding vibes. Yeah, so rice actually really good. Honestly, wedding vibes, it tastes exactly how you'd expect. It's a little bit spicy, but it's not as spicy as something like a biryani, which I actually do not like whatsoever, confession time. But the rice is pretty good. Let's now try the shami kebab. I don't like that. I'll be honest. I do not like that. I know shami kebabs have a soft texture. I get that. So this is accurate to that, but for me, that's just, it's kind of like baby food. I, I, I don't like that, I'll be honest. That's just not for me super spicy kind of overpoweringly spicy actually i can't really taste the lamb incredibly spicy the texture is too soft for me actually that's i'm not a fan of that but i did like the rice let's go on to the chicken let's try that i'm going to use my fingers this does actually come i should say with a decent amount of salad on the side there as well yeah chicken's good chicken's good rice is good the chicken is good. I feel like I'm at an Asian wedding. I feel like they've just slapped this down in the middle of the table. I'm eating it. And now the waiters are kind of rushing us away because the second seating need to come in. If you've been to an Asian wedding, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, next thing, considering I've had some uh, peri chicken strips and I've had a rice platter, I think might surprise you guys. It surprised me. Saw it on the menu and I really wanted to try it. So, this is a chicken parmesan. Look at that, guys. This, this is the spicy one. It looks awesome. So this is uh, a chicken fillet, breaded, got some cheese on top there. It's actually baked, not fried this one. 
and we've got a load of chips and salad on the side as well. So yeah, like I said, the chicken fillet here is not fried, actually it's baked, which is a bit different. Let's try it, ooh. The chicken itself looks to me to be really nice. The crispy batter around it looks fairly spicy. There's a decent amount of cheese on there. Looks wise, looks good. No, it's cheesy, no, it's spicy. There's a bit of crunch from the batter. The chips on the side, good little touch, but the Parmesan itself, honestly, priced really well. I'll flash that on the screen somewhere. That is one of the better Parmesans I've had. A little bit of a surprise because I didn't expect this place to have a really, really good Parmesan. I wanted some good rice. The Peru chicken was good, but the Parmesan for me, I think that's probably the best thing I've had here, actually. That is absolutely delicious. Right guys, so I'm actually gonna take my food home to finish now because actually, something about me, I hate walking or standing and eating. It's just something I absolutely loathe doing. Do not like doing it, so I'm gonna take it home and eat this food. The couple of places I mentioned before uh, for the steamed chicken, for Chapati Corner, I'm actually gonna link in the description. So after you finish watching this, go watch those videos because they have some amazing food as well. And they're right by Kawaja as well. So do check those out. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Like the video if you like it, subscribe to the channel to see more and share with your friends. See you later, guys. Bye, 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 bye.